What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of I'm Playing. Today I'm playing Animaniacs on the Sega Genesis. Uh, this is a side-scrolling platformer based on the TV series of the same name, which I believe used to air on Fox. Um, so basically, the uh, game consists of a bunch of levels, which are, in this case, movie studios. And uh, the different studios have different uh, themes, uh, such as Wild West and Jungle and uh, Sci-Fi and all that. So uh, the whole game, you uh, play as these three characters. I figure out what their names are. It's been a long time since I've watched the TV series. Uh, but they all did have uh, different abilities. Uh, this tall one here can use his uh, uh, paddle ball thing, uh, which hurts certain characters. And uh, the short one uses a mallet, which, strangely enough, doesn't really hurt anything. It's uh, used mainly for lighting fuses, which is weird. I mean, since when does hitting a fuse with a mallet light it? But whatever. Uh, the third character is this girl here, who can shoot hearts, which will stun certain characters and, as you're about to see, can make certain characters move out of the way. Like this dog, which for some weird reason goes chasing after a cat when I hit it with the heart. Interesting. Anyway, here's the uh, studio select. So that first level was kind of just an introductory level. These are the real levels. Uh, there are four different ones. They don't actually say what they are. They just label them one, two, three, and four. So I'll start with number one, which I believe is a jungle-themed one. Yes, uh, Bungle in the Jungle, The Adventures of Dirk Rugged, the seventh or eighth or something like that. We have these little cutscenes in the middle of the levels. I'm just gonna skip them just for the sake of time. Uh, so the only character that can push boxes is the tall one. All the other ones are too weak to push boxes apparently. So this bird I need to hit with a heart and it'll fly off so I can jump onto this ramp here. Or swinging ramp on a vine, whatever it is. I need to hit this fuse with my hammer, which obviously lights it so I can be shot across the screen. As you can see, the stars on each level. Uh, the stars, I believe once you collect a hundred of them, you'll get an extra life. But as I said, I used to own this game on the original Game Boy. I think I said it anyway. But if I did not, yes, I did own this on the original Game Boy. I remember it being quite fun, so that's why I picked it up on the Genesis, because I do not have my original Game Boy version anymore, uh, nor do I actually own a Game Boy. But I remember the boss fights being quite fun in this game, so we'll see if I can make it that far. So we have these lamps you jump on, which are mysteriously floating in midair. Actually, then again, it's supposed to be a movie set, so I suppose the background is fake. Uh, so I'm supposed to hit this elephant with my hammer. So it will go down into the water, which I think defies some law of gravity, but I could be wrong. <laughs> then again, it's a video game, so whatever. So now onto the waterfall. I jump onto these logs and float down. Well, in theory, I'm supposed to float down. As long as I don't walk off them. As you can see, this door here is closed. So I need to open it with a switch near the bottom of the waterfall. There's also a clock here, which I can grab, and that will increase the timer. Here's the switch. So I need to switch over to the character in the blue shirt here so I can hit it with a hammer. The door should now be open. Climb back up to the top. Now, onto the 
minecart ride. I'm not sure how a minecart with one wheel can stay balanced, no matter uh, where I stand on it. But again, whatever, it's a video game. Nothing ever makes sense in video games. You'll get a headache if you try to make a sense of it. As you can see, each of the characters has their own idle animation. This is just about the easiest minecart ride in any video game I've ever had. <laughs> you pretty much just stand on the minecart the entire time. Except for that one part, or two parts, where you need to jump. And here's another part of the game which defies laws of physics and gravity. Where I'm supposed to hit this with a hammer. And be shot up to the top. Which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But whatever. And... Indiana Jones scene here. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to jump over that without getting hurt. But I made it anyway. I believe we're close to the end of the level. I actually remember this part from the Game Boy version. I believe they're identical. Uh, as far as I know, except obviously the graphics would be superior in the Genesis version. Am I supposed to jump down there? Uh, mm, I don't know if I want to risk that. I think maybe I'm supposed to go over here. Whoops. Uh, nope, can't make it over there. Alright, well, I guess I'm jumping then. Oh, yep, okay. I wasn't sure, but... concept came from, I mean, seriously. Where does, why is there just food lying around randomly in video games? If anyone knows the origins of that, please let me know. I'd like to know. Uh, you can't pull things. Uh, you need to use the tall character again, because the other ones are too weak. You need to hold the A button against the object, or the box in this case. Pull it. So I'm supposed to pull it all the way out. And hit this with a hammer. Uh. Come on. Well, this is difficult. Come on. Come on! There we go. Switch over to the strong one. Pull. Underneath. Grab the floating... What in the world happened there? I was teleported back to here. Well, that stinks. the food and the clock were just decoys. Well, that's nefarious. Come on. Oh, this is annoying. There we go. Ow. Avoid food and clock. Uh, and that 
the first one was apparently a trap, which failed to get me because I am too bright. Oh, here we go, here's a boss fight. I remember this one. This one's pretty fun. Just hit these things and uh, hit the guy with the rock. The boulder. Ah, come on. Ew. There we go. Ow! Oh! Uh, forgot about that. Oh, we stopped short. Come on over here. Oh, man. I believe those rats that went by are, uh, Pinky in the Brain, I believe they're called. It was another TV seri series. Oh, come on. Switch over to him. Come on. There we go. Take this, fatso! There we go. Ah! Ah! Man! Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that stinks. I was hoping I'd be able to actually beat that boss level, but I'm glad I at least made it to the boss level so I can actually show you what they're like, which I remember they're quite fun, and they are definitely what I remember. Very unique. Anyway, guys, this has been a... Well, not a first look, but... This has been Animaniacs on the Sega Genesis. A fun game. If you like side-scrolling platformers, definitely check this one out. It's fun. I definitely recommend it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe.